Welcome to this week's Your High School Sports Special Edition. It's National Signing Day, and we're going to kick things off right here at Greenville High School. Three players here at Greenville signed this morning. We've got a lot of things covered today. Morristown West, we've got Maryville, we've got Catholic. We've got a lot of show today. Plus, we'll go up to Science Hill and see who Coach Carter is sending off to play at the next level. So make sure you stay right here on Your High School Sports coming up next. You've just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. Welcome back to this edition of Your High School Sports. It's signing day once again, and we're with Eddie DeHardo. He is a Greenville's Green Devil senior. Just, just signed with Coach Torbush's East Tennessee State Buccaneers. Talk a little bit about the process. Um, the past month, uh, I received many offers, and uh, it's been good kind of stress. But um, now that I committed to ETSU, uh, all the stress is gone, and I just, it's really like happy now. So, was that your number one choice? Yeah, uh, their academic program. Um, I'm trying to go into nursing, and so with nursing and there being like this cool in school of medicine, um, I mean, there's there's no like second guess where I had to go. So, what did they talk about as you going in? Will you go in? having the chance to play next year oh yes sir the team's really young right now they've got about two sophomores and one junior so uh they think i can come in and start as a true freshman all right eddie eddie has made that choice to go up and play for coach torbus up in johnson city for the east tennessee state buccaneers Mr. Bryson Knight has joined us now, another Greenville Green Devil that signed on this National Signing Day. Where are you going to school at, sir? I'm going to the University of the Cumberlands in Williamsburg, Kentucky. What made you decide to go to the University of Cumberlands? I just took a visit and I fell in love instantly. The campus is great and the atmosphere is great. Was that your number one choice? Yes, sir. You know, going into to a program like that, you know, they, they usually have a, a real good football team. You know, did they give you any increments that you'd get to play next year? Uh, yes, sir. They were just hinting at that they wanted me to start right guard next year. So, Right guard next year. So, you know, this four years at, here at Greenville, you know, under Coach Ballard, you know, has that taught you anything to get ready for the next level? Yes, sir. Coach Ballard's definitely taught me some great work ethics and just great mentalities to have when I go to the next level. Well, good luck. We'll see you hopefully on Sundays. <laughs> All right. Then we're with Nick Payne. Nick has just signed with East Tennessee State. Talk about that process, Nick. Uh, you know, there's a lot of factors going into it. My primary decision in doing that was the academic program because I plan on going into something medical, and yeah. ETSU is kind of the ideal school for that. You know, in that process, you know, how many – times did you say you know I don't know if I want to go there how many was East Tennessee State your number one choice uh actually yeah but uh the main issue for me was like deciding if I'd want to play or not and I, during the season I was thinking about that in college and then after football ended I was kind of like man I wish I could play again so now I made the decision to go play you know uh the opportunity to go play for a new upstart program like Coach Torbush's program you know Going in, I guess you probably had to have the opportunity to play next year. Uh, yeah, I feel like you know, if I just go there and work as hard as I can, it will come eventually. I don't really want to break or anything. Just let that happen. You're just going to enjoy this day, correct? Yes, sir. Mr. Nick Payne, another Greenville High School Green Devil, signing with Co Coach Torbush's East Tennessee State Buccaneers. We'll be right back here on your high school sports right after this. It's the day 
has finally arrived It's your wedding day It's the moment you've been waiting all your life It's your wedding day Ah, your wedding day That one special day in your life you'll never forget So let Venture Productions capture all those special moments at your wedding For you to treasure a lifetime our approach to videography is one of creativity and excellence. Call Venture Productions for your video services. It's the moment you've been waiting all your life is day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back to your high school sports. Coach Lamar Brown of Morristown West has joined us now. Coach, exciting day for your your guys here at Morristown West. Oh, it is. That's not very often that you know kid comes in as a freshman and through his four years he gets to share his dreams and his goals with you and and, and you get to see that dream become a reality. And and these two guys, DeAndre and Calvin, they they're not only two of our best football players, but our two hardest workers we had on the team. And and they took care of it in the classroom and outside of school so it's an exciting time and I'm proud of them the way they've represented their program you know with with DeAndre going off to Wake Forest. Talk about his, him going off and playing for the Demon Deacons. Well, that's a great opportunity. Wow, what a what a great education yes. you can get at Wake Forest, and and, and that's what matters. Uh, he's excited. I'm excited for him. Uh, you know, all of a sudden ACC games become real important in Marstown. So so I, I'm excited about getting to see him continue to grow there. And then Calvin going off to play at Myrtle Beach. If you don't know fans, that school's right on the beach. Oh yes, a great school. Uh, you, you know, they was in the uh, uh, Division One AA semifinals two years ago and getting ready to move up to Division One. And, uh, you know, going to the beach to watch a football game is a great thing to do. And, and Calvin's a great young man, and, and it's an exciting time to see him grow. And, you know, Calvin's one of those guys that I've watched grow up in this community uh, his whole life. So it, it's fun, and, and he's helped open a lot of doors, him and DeAndre both, for kids here in the future. Well, Coach, we appreciate taking a moment of your time to come over and speak to your high school sports, and we'll be getting back with you when football season starts. Okay, thank you, Roddy. DeAndre Delaney has joined us now. It's National Signing Day, and you've made a big decision to go off and play football at Wake Forest. Talk about that, young man. Um, you know, ACC football, big-time uh, prestigious program. Uh, Dave Clawson, our head coach, he's uh, done a phenomenal job recruiting. Our uh, recruiting class is tied for school history. Uh, being one of the best uh, recruiting classes and uh, he's done a great job of turning programs around so that's what I'm looking forward to. Going to, to an ACC school, talk about how Morristown West has prepared you for that. Um, you know they really uh, enforce the idea of making sure you come to school, you know you're getting the job done in the classroom and uh, even outside of that doing the extra stuff uh, after workouts and stuff, you know putting in the extra work that you need to, to get to this level. Going down there to start next year? Uh, you know, I'm learning a new, uh, brand new position, safety. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's going to take some time to transition into. But uh, I'll find out if I'm redshirting or starting probably about three weeks before season kicks off. Mr. DeAndre Delaney, he is headed off to play for the Demon Deacons next year as a Wake Forest. He'll be down there in September. So make sure you tune your TVs to ACC football next year and catch this young man. <laughs> Calvin Smith has joined us now. We're at Morristown West where Calvin is getting ready to sign that letter, that national letter, to go to Coastal Carolina. How's that feel, young man? Uh, it's a great feeling just knowing that I get to continue my dream that I had as a kid playing Division I football. So, I mean, nothing feels better than this. Was that your number one choice? Absolutely, yes, sir. The coaching staff from day one really believed in me and my talent. So, it was a place that felt like home, and I, I'm excited to continue my next four years. How has Morristown West got you to that point? Oh, uh, the coaching staff, my teammates, family, everything. I mean, they've been so supportive of me, helped me when I needed it, been there through thick and thin, so I really appreciate it. Let's wrap this last question up. Are you going down there to play? Yes, sir, going down there, hopefully hopefully get a starting spot. I mean, it's starting over. It's, I'm a freshman again, so it's a whole new journey, and I'm looking forward to it. Calvin Smith headed off to Coastal Carolina to play football down there next season. We'll be right back.
revolutionary safety of the Michelin Premier family of tires is now available for more cars, trucks, minivans, and SUVs. So whatever you drive, you can take on wet or slippery roads with confidence mile after mile. Double D Tire can help you take changing weather in stride and save. Double D Tire has been family owned and operated since 1981. Owners Tommy and Flint Carter specialize in tires, alignments, brakes, suspension repairing, and custom wheels. Double D Tire would like to thank all their customers and look forward to serving you in the future. Gotta get to Gateway. Get Greene County's only lifetime warranty on these incredible Gateway deals. Late model crossovers like Ford Escapes, GMC Terrains, Jeeps, and Honda CRVs from only $12.9. Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. Welcome back to this edition of Your High School Sports. You can notice that one of our co-hosts is not with us this week. Chris Blevins has got away. He got away from the snow, got away from the rain. Chris, where are you at? Oh, I'm in Puerto Rico today, Roddy, and uh, been really enjoying my time away. I miss you guys, and uh, definitely uh, be glad to get back. But I've been in St. Thomas and uh, head down to Church and Caicos tomorrow, but Today, I'm enjoying the beautiful 85, 90 degree weather here in Puerto Rico. Oh, man, you're going to make our, you gonna make all of our fans jealous because you got away. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I'm glad to get away. I know it's still cold there a little bit and uh, try to bring some of this sunshine home, I hope. Hey, uh, tell us about these pictures you've been sending us. Yeah, well, I was in Puerto Rico here, and of course, I can't really get work off of mine. So uh, I went by a place here in Puerto Rico that is called Carmelo Anthony Court. Uh, I think he's donated it here. I think uh, Carmel is actually from around here. I'm able to get by there and check it out a little bit. Looks like a great little place that uh, he's kind of done for the kids, and it's right on the water there. And uh, I guess by looking at the pictures you guys can see now, uh, it just looks like a great place for kids to come and play, and it just kind of goes along with our sports for kids. And uh, it kind of shows you how much sports is really involved all around uh, the world, and uh, it's kind of great to see. And I thought it was good that I was able to send those pictures back, and hopefully you guys at home will be able to see that. Uh, and just kind of take something from that. But, yeah, it was great. Great atmosphere. I'm glad I got to go by and share that with you guys. You know, what you hit on, Sports for Kids, you know how important it is. So all of our fans need to make sure that they go to our website, yourhighschoolsports.com, and get more information about Sports for Kids. Right, Chris? Oh, definitely, definitely. And uh, there's something else, too, that I saw today uh, out here. I know that uh, Mr. Delaney from Washington West also committed to Wake Forest today. I saw his little interview and press conference there today. I just want to say congratulations to him. Uh, and then we also have the other guy from Morristown West, Roddy, that went to East Carolina doing that. I thought that was great to see. And I uh, want to say congratulations to both of those guys. We sure do, Chris. But I'm going to let get you get off of here. Go jump in the pool and cool off and enjoy your vacation. We'll see you next week. Uh, sounds good. Y'all have a great rest of the week. We'll see you next week. All right. Chris Blevins giving us a call from around the nation and report – for your high school sports. He's in Puerto Rico and enjoying himself. I'm on the phone now with head coach of the Catholic High School Fighting Irish, Coach Steve Matthews. Coach, you just coming off a, a great state championship, but you had some kids sign letters of intent this morning. Talk about those young men. Well, first we have Logan Punch. She's a uh, long snapper going to the University of Tennessee as a preferred walk-on, and, and he's in an unusual position. His, his academic scores are so high mm -hmm. that he's basically going to college for free, but also with the ability to uh, long snap there for Coach Jones. And he, he's, he's been great for us. He, he came, he came to our, into our program in ninth grade at 205 pounds, and now he's 250 pounds his senior okay. year and just really has turned himself into a great long snapper. And Austin Rowan signed today with ETSU, uh, two-time – um, two-time All-State player mm -hmm. and has been a stalwart for us on the defensive line. I think he'll have a great career there. And we got a kicker, Jake Posebus, still kind of looking around, and it, it's tough for kickers sometimes. A lot of a lot of college coaches mm -hmm. come in and grab them a little later. And then a uh, a linebacker, Augie Fortune, who uh, has a really good shot to be a preferred walk-on at at Wake Forest. And he's another guy that he's a 34 ACT guy, so he'll. Uh, Okay. He'll end up going to school for free somewhere because academics, but also wants to play big time football as well. Well, that's very good, coach. You know, coming into your program this year, you know, you you come out and win a state championship. All these four players that you talked about, how much did they impact that this season? Oh, they were huge for us, um, especially you know you get off to a slow start. Senior leadership is critical, and and all four of those guys were really you know part of the glue of this program, holding it together and. Uh, they had, they had been through the, the uh, 
attrition of a new coach and everything else. And so they, they were huge, and, um, you know, all four of those guys just did an outstanding job for us all year. Coach, before we wrap this up, tell us what you're doing in the off season. Well, right now it's, uh, you know, inventorying the, the equipment and finding out what we need to order and so we can get it here in time for the season. We're uh, starting to get the calendar together of when we're going to start two-a-days and, and, our, and our padded practices and trying to get scrimmages lined up and things like that. And we're actually going to scrimmage Oakland High School on May 13th at okay. UT's Indoor Complex, which will be a, a neat thing. I've just solidified that about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Okay. So we're, we're getting excited, uh, you know, lifting weights and the – in the offseason is critical for us, and so the guys are working hard. All right. Well, Coach Steve Matthews, head coach of the Catholic Fighting Irish out of Knoxville, he just had a great signing class. Coach, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys having me on. Hey, when we come back, we're going to catch up and see what's going on around the East, around the East Tennessee area with all of more of your Signing day. It's National Signing Day right here on Your High School Sports. We'll be right back. I never thought I'd get into the car business or work with my dad, but some things you just shouldn't pass up, like our carefree car deal with upfront pricing below the factory invoice and our lifetime powertrain warranty. You've just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. The revolutionary safety of the Michelin Premier family of tires is now available for more cars, trucks, minivans, and SUVs. So whatever you drive, you can take on wet or slippery roads with confidence mile after mile. Double D Tire can help you take changing weather in stride and save. Double D Tire has been family owned and operated since 1981. Owners Tommy and Flint Carter specialize in tires, alignments, brakes, suspension repairing, and custom wheels. Double D Tire would like to thank all their customers and look forward to serving you in the future. Get Green County's only lifetime warranty on these incredible Gateway deals. 2014 minivans like Town & Country's Honda Odysseys and Dodge Caravans from 199. Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. Welcome back to your high school sports. This is Bart Lyon, and we're at Science Hill High School today for National Signing Day. We have plenty of uh, hilltoppers that are going to sign today, and here are just a few. I'm here with uh, Jordan Holly. Jordan just signed with uh, Walter State Community College, two sport athlete at Science Hill, but chose to go the baseball route at Walter State. Uh, Jordan, what was the reason why you chose uh, Walter State in the baseball route? Uh, well, it's always been a dream to play uh, college baseball. It's uh, something that I've always wanted since I was little. And, uh, you know, I love football and I uh, don't regret anything about playing football, but I always knew that I wanted to play college baseball. And, uh, you know, Walter State just presented a really good opportunity for me to go down there and uh, have a lot of success. Stand out both on the baseball diamond and the gridiron. Uh, we're, he'll be missed at Science Hill High School going to Walter State Community College, Jordan Holly. I'm here with outside linebacker Brett Marcus, uh, also known as Sunshine. He's heading up uh, to play for Case Western Reserve University, play a little football. And what was your reason why? Uh, you chose uh, that college? Mainly because of the academic standard that that college has. It's a very high ranked university and I feel like I can get, great, I can get a great education there and prepare for my future and I can still play football. You know, the thing about Brett is not, no, uh, not, not only is he a big time uh, football player, he's a standout in the classroom as well. Works hard, second to none when it comes uh, as far as academics and he will be missed again on the gridiron at Science Hill. Brett, thank you and best of luck. Thank you. Heading to East Tennessee State University, defensive back, wide receiver, Elijah Mathis. And Elijah, you had plenty of opportunities to go different places. What led you to stay with Coach uh, Torbush and to stay at home at East Tennessee State? Uh, I just uh, wanted to go over there and help out the program. And uh, when I took my official visit, the players there just made me feel like I was at home and just made me feel like I was already part of the team. So I just felt something different there, and I liked it. Have they taught you about playing on offensive side of the ball or defensive side of the ball? Uh, they said mainly offense. That's it. That's all. Well, I, I hope they uh, realize what they got as far as your uh, ability as far as returning punts, returning kicks. Uh, Elijah Mathis, number 25 for Science Hill, big-time football player. And one good thing about that is we'll still be in Johnson City and we'll still get to check out Elijah on, on Saturdays. Thanks, Elijah. Yes, sir, thank you. We're here with pitcher for the Lady Topper softball team, 
Chloe Anna Smith heading to Daytona to play a little softball down in Daytona, Florida. And what made you want to go all the way to Daytona, Florida to play softball? Um, well, the campus is beautiful, and when I went on my official visit, the team, they just made me feel at home, and they're a really good program, and I just I love it down there. Well, I'll tell you, I've got to witness your uh, work ethic for about the last half year, and I've been very impressed. She's a standout in softball, and she's also a great young lady in the community. Also big time uh, standout in the classroom as well. Uh, how has your family helped you as far as get to reach your goal of getting a scholarship? Um, well, they've pretty much they've always been so supportive, and they just give me everything I need and push me, and just they've always been there, and I think that's the biggest thing. All right, we're, we're definitely going to miss her on the softball diamond. She's also a standout Kent Murphy alumnus too. <laughs> She's been to Kent Murphy softball camps, and she will be missed heading to Daytona, Florida. Thank you. <laughs> heading to Walter State Community College to play volleyball, Abby Higgins. Abby, uh, two sports stand out at Science Hill, both softball and volleyball, and I've had the opportunity to keep up with you in both sports. What made you lead to the decision to go to Walter State? Um, well, after I visited a couple colleges, Walter State just stood out to me. All the players were so nice, and the campus was small and not too big, kind of like controlled atmosphere, and I just liked it. And it also has a good like educational program for what I'm going into physical therapy. So excellent. excellent. Any any chance to see you on the softball dominant Walter State? No. 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 Softball cleats are hanging them up. Yes. All right. Well, again, she's another athlete that's definitely going to be missed on the uh, softball field and the volleyball court. Heading to Walter State. This is Abby Higgins. <laughs> Here with big Quentin Alabocas heading to Chattanooga. Quentin, you had uh, plenty of opportunities to sign at different schools. What made you want to be a mock? Um, I guess the way they do things down there, it's magnificent, unbelievable how hard they work, you know, how hard they train to, you know, win SOCON championships, and they're on the brink of winning the national championship. And I said, that's the perfect spot for me, man. You know, they were ranked in the top 10 FCS schools in the nation, and I was like, wow, what a place to be. You know, my friend Malcolm's there. I love the coaches, especially Coach Huseman, uh, Coach Bailey, my new D-line coach, and also my recruiting coach, Coach Har. Um, but... Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to being down there. That family is one heck of a family, and I'm excited to be. I'm glad I'm to become a part of it. So, well, we're, we're awful proud of you. The the you know the effort you've put forth on the practice field. You know, he, he moved in here as an eighth grader, and was eligible to play in games, but he still practiced every day. And he, he was he was a scout team running back. He came up to Science Hill. Uh, he's played four years for the Hilltoppers, done a great job. Hey, you know, going to going to Chattanooga, you're gonna get an opportunity to play against. Uh, Elijah Mathis, who's at East SC State, and Mikey White at Western Carolina. How, how do you think about uh, those matchups with those two former Hilltoppers? Oh, you know, just because they're my friend and all doesn't mean I'm not going to treat them any different. I mean, I'm going to lay the hammer down when it's game time, <laughs> so they, they better not hope that I'm going to be, you know, play, being easy or taking it easy on them. I mean, we're rivals now, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're awful proud of, of Mikey, we're awful proud of you, and we're awful proud of Elijah and all the toppers that signed today. With your high school sports.com, this is Bart Line. We're going to toss it over to Carter County to see who's signing national letters of intent at Carter County right now. Hello, I'm Chris Reddick reporting for Carter County, Tennessee, giving you the latest on the signings here in Carter County. We're going to first start off in Cloudland. Cloudland had an outstanding year with a few outstanding athletes, one by the name of quarterback Austin Whitehead. Austin Whitehead is going to be going to Cumberland in Kentucky. Let's move on into Hampton. Well, at this time, a few people are being looked at, but we're going to talk about the commitments of Hampton a little bit later. We're going into Elizabeth, and they have, of course, a few outstanding athletes. Two are going to be committing a little bit later, but we do have Mr. Preston Whitehead, outstanding linebacker. He's going to be staying here in the area, and he's going to East Tennessee State University. And speaking of East Tennessee State University, we had a chance to catch up with head coach Torbus at Bristol Motor Speedway last week where they announced the big game between East Tennessee State University and Western Carolina at Bristol Motor Speedway the week after the big game between University of Tennessee and Virginia Tech. Well, you know, recruiting is always big and you always do your best to try to recruit kids. And now, you know, they're going to probably use Bristol Motor Speedway and that game as a way to recruit kids. So we had a chance to catch up and get some comments from head coach Torbush. 
you know, recruiting being always a challenge. What's this do for recruiting for ETSU? Well, probably if it had been about two months ago, it might have helped a little bit more. But, uh, you know, everybody has just about made their decisions now. There's a several, and I, and I feel sure there's it's going to sway two or three. Uh, we've got a recruiting weekend this weekend, and it may be the difference maker. Who knows? But I know this. If I had a chance to go somewhere that I knew that that university was going to play football in the Bristol Motor Speedway, that would be an influence on my decision. And when you take into account of that, also the great academics we have, the great location we have with our uh, this part of the country, uh, uh, there's no negatives. So, uh, you know, obviously uh, what's going on right now, it, it couldn't be any better. Uh, and I, I think this will... As, as hard as our players are working, I think now that they know this has happened, they may work a little bit harder. Who knows? I never thought I'd get into the car business or work with my dad, but some things you just shouldn't pass up, like our carefree car deal with upfront pricing below the factory invoice and our lifetime powertrain warranty. You've just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville, online at gatewaydeal.com. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Volunteer Chevrolet is your friendly hometown dealership, proudly serving the region for over 20 years. At Volunteer Chevrolet, you'll get great offers on select new vehicles from Chevy cars, trucks, and SUVs. So come see the new look at Volunteer Chevrolet and take advantage of their great deals. Volunteer Chevrolet is still easy to find on 400 Winfield Dunn Parkway, Sevierville. Volunteer Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of YourHighSchoolSports.com, Sevier County. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time for this episode of Your High School Sports. On behalf of Roddy Woods, on behalf of Bart Lyon, and our good friend Chris Blevins, who's enjoying the beautiful weather in Puerto Rico, I'm Chris Reddick, and thank you for watching Your High School Sports. You've just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville, online at gatewaydeal.com.